right, guys, I wanted to go over the trade on RTNB today. Uh, it's been a stock that we've been watching a little bit, and it's also in a situation of a uh, short sell restriction, which we've kind of seen a lot of momentum in action in lately. Basically, a short sell restriction means you can only short this stock on an uptick. So a lot of times when I'm shorting, I like to hit a stock when the momentum is already in my favor to the downside. So on a stock like RTNB, you have to be shorting this stock when it's moving up. Uh, with that said, you'll see a lot of these stocks that trigger SSR make some huge moves to the upside with a lot of momentum on the buying side. The reason being because a lot of stocks, if they're not SSR, there's a lot of selling pressure from people going short on that stock due to the fact that they can short into selling pressure. When a stock is on SSR, you cannot short into it on selling pressure. You basically have to think counterintuitively and counter trade this stock because you're going against the trend. So we've been seeing a lot of buying opportunities on these stocks. And how a stock goes SSR is this on a previous day or that actual day of trading, the stock drops more than 10% in a session. So it went SSR yesterday. Uh, as you can see uh, on the daily chart, this thing did open down significantly below the previous day's closing price. So it was down over 10%. So it goes SSR uh, after that. And after, you know, a lot of stock trading is all about preparation. As you can see, I put this on the watch list last night. RTNB, I said another big Momo player with potential to squeeze near $2 per share. Uh, watching long for a mag to two and then potential short for the over under two. So I didn't get I didn't get long of this right out of the gates early. So this actually was red today. Uh, right out of the gates here this morning, we cl opened at about 127 from the previous, went all the way back down. So that's, that might even be 10% today right there for it to trigger SSR. And then the actual kind of buy trigger here, but it was on very low volume, was at 127 for the red to green move. And then all of a sudden this thing spiked up huge. It actually halted uh, before making a continuation. Then we basically flagged here for a potential F1, which is where I got in here at 210 and pieced myself out of this thing. Uh, as high as 240, sold the uh, the rest at uh, 229. And this is just classic FUS4 Part 2 material that we teach in the FUS4 Part 2 training which is basically just trading morning flag breakouts. I got in at 210 and I sized myself out of here. I took advantage of the spike upwards near the previous high from the last uh, three days ago was 249. This thing spiked out to the resistance at 250. I was also looking to lock in profits at the 13 EMA resistance, which is a major resistance area when you see a stock in a downtrend like this on the daily trade, the 13 EMA on a bounce play like this is always an area where it's, you know, a good potential to lock in some gains. So uh, I pieced out of this thing. I'll show you the screenshot here. I went in 5K at 210. I locked in 2,500 at 229. Just after that spike, you know, we haven't seen a lot of momentum or follow throughs just due to the way the market's been acting. So I was quick to lock in half my gains there. I took another 1500 at 240 on the breakout upwards near those previous highs, uh, as well as the previous 249. And then basically my rule of thumb after a breakout on an intraday pattern is I usually follow the 13 EMA. And if we break down below that trend, that's typically the sign of a potential short-term trend reversal. And in this case, we did get one test Back at the 13 EMA here, I only had a thousand shares, so I wasn't, you know, super antsy to get out of the position. We got one last spike up, basically retesting 249 again, the previous highs before this thing cracked below here uh, at about 230, the 13 EMA. I exited at 229 for that last thousand shares and then locked in about $1,115 total on the trade. So it was a pretty, you know, perfect trade here as far as you know setting up your watch list the previous night having on watch so it's something you can see uh to a pattern you find in foos for part two for the breakout and then this piecing out and following the 13 ema trend there in addition it was also a stock that continually was showing up on my intraday scanners this is trade ideas this is my intraday scanner uh there'll be a link below to have more information about this but i have several different scanners showed up here um 
you know, we got the gap scanner, we have the high a day scanner. We also have a volume blaster scanner. This is basically just going to show you stocks that are, you know, having a huge amount of increase in volume on a one minute time frame. And as you can see, our TMB was really just showing up on this volume blaster. Um, in addition to a parabolic overbought scanner, our TMB was showing up very early out of the gates this morning. Once this you know, had this huge spike right there. That's just basically going to show me stocks that have made a very huge move percentage wise in a very short amount of time on the intraday chart. So this stock RTMB was all over my scanners uh, heading into the open. So it's important that you have scanners that are showing you what stocks are most volatile and most active in the morning and sending you, giving you signals so uh, you can be prepared to trade those. Even though this was all, already on my watch list from the previous night, it's also good to see what's moving right now um, so you can be on top of the game because obviously, you know, you only have two eyeballs and you can only watch so many things at one time. But this is basically just a picture perfect trade on RTNB that worked out in my favor. Again, another new thing that's been really popping up lately is stocks that are on SSR, short sell restriction. Um, they're really getting these huge squeezes to the upside, but that's just kind of the breakdown of the trade on RTNB today, guys, for a quick uh, $1,115 gain. Uh, that I showed you in that screenshot ch -ch -ch -ch. on Snagit. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Take it easy.